All right, Tijani Oluwatosin's success is a political affairs analyst, a trained admi administrator, and a consultant at Tips Servant Limited, right? That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. How was the traffic? Uh, hectic. Interesting, right? Basically, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I have to leave the car and just jump on the yeah, bike. Wow, and that's, that's what everybody, oh my goodness. Yes. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, so you heard the conversations we had with um, Charles earlier yeah. on the rise in internet fraud in yeah. Nigeria, especially amongst the youth. And I understand you have a story that you would like to share with us, you okay. know, to help us understand this thing and probably find solutions to it. Okay. Yeah. Um, as a political affairs analyst, I I'll be coming more from the area of the politics, the mm. political angle. Um, so from research. I got to know that um, poverty is at the base of wow. this um, issue with um, internet fraud and sort of that. See, there's something we call social contact theory. There's something we call social trust. When um, the followers that have leaders ahead of them, that they want to be like that, the model, when the social contact theory between the follower and the leader, the ruler and the ruled, it's been breached by the leader, so what do you expect? Now, this is how the contract operates. I have the power, and I relinquish that power to you willingly, so that you govern me, you give me my interest, you protect my interest. Um, you see, the constitution says the primary responsibility of every government is to provide the, um, is the um, what's it called now, the property and the life of the citizens. Mm. So when that is not the case in a democracy just like you have, then um, there is no what can I call it now? There's no trust. Mm -hmm. So that gives me, if my mom, for instance, says, Tosin, don't smoke, mm -hmm. and I see her smoking, like, okay. and she comes back to me, Tosin, don't smoke, but I see her smoking. So if the leader says, um, don't engage yourself in internet for them, but you have already good social contact between myself and you uh, as le the leader. Le let, me, let, me, let me step in there. The, the recently, um, uh, the ex-governor of them, um, Lagos State was swindled by a young man who had actually um, hacked into his account and he has been operating it for the past uh, six years. He was, um, he was duped to the point of, uh, or swindled to the point of 3.1 million How naira for that sense. period of time. Now, do you, are you going to say that fa we all know that Fashola is a credible leader? So are we now? Are you now saying that the, the young man actually looked at Fashola and decided to do the same thing to Fashola because Fashola has been? Okay, this is the point. Um, the ideology of any state mm -hmm. is the ideology of the ruling class. So what is the ideology of our ruling class? Is the ideology of accommodation. Mm -hmm. See, it doesn't have to be that I see that um, someone looted before I I also do the same thing back to the person. But there's an ideology, there's a system, there's the way the, the ideology operates. Mm. It's inbuilt, it's like a culture. See, corruption itself is a culture. When you have a culture of corruption, then you see every other thing happen. So it's an ideology that you have seen like a trend over time. Yes. So you have, to, you have to hop your game, whichever way you want to do it. It doesn't matter, it doesn't um, really, really count until you see somebody somebody doing what you really want to do. But yeah, once so there's an ideology how, to follow. So how do we eradicate this mindset? The ideology. This ideology, this mindset okay. of, from the no, youth of before today. No, but before we even how go to we, how, how do, how do <coughs> because Tijani, you mentioned something about poverty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do I tend to disagree with you on that? Okay. Do you understand why? Because um, <clears throat> I think it gets, for me, fraud gets to a stage where it has grown beyond just poverty. It is now gotten to a stage where I want to be a certain kind of person. I want to live a By kind of life. life. I want to exactly. have a certain kind of standard. You know, why do I believe that? That it's beyond because poverty even after they've at made this the point? Money, because they yes, are still doing you know? it. So yes. it has got nothing I, to do with the leaders what, at the end of the day or poverty. That? Okay, um, this is how poverty comes into picture. Yeah. See. Poverty is a thing of the mind. Mm. Even if you have um, one million dollars in your account, if you are poor in the mind, you will still behave you as one. Be well, that's true. So you always yeah. want to have more. Yes. So and that does not define you as a person. You are defined by your values. You are defined by your ideologies. You are defined by the system you believe in. So it still boils down to the same issue of poverty. Poverty is not until you don't have 
financial substance yeah. that you can hold on to. But when you are poor in the mind, then you begin to operate with that system. So when you have a, a scarcity mindset, yes. that's what you mean. So you want to accumulate. Yeah. You keep trying. I, so I that agree. is why, I'm sorry, that is why even if you engage in internet fraud and you get two million naira, you don't stop. The mindset is there that you have to keep continuing. You have to keep doing it. You have to keep doing it. And that trend continues. You get you start by maybe 18, 19, and before you know you are 30 and you are still into it. Because the mindset has not been affected. Before you affect somebody's life, you affect this mentality, you affect his mindset, you affect affect the You're way you think. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, I mean there was a recent case where um, uh, there was a man that was caught with um, email fraud. Mm. He was arrested in the U.S. and he had obviously accumulated a lot of money. I think EFCC is even holding his money. Oh. I think his name was in Victor Men Sobi. Okay. Yes. So yeah, I mean, he was poor and then obviously he had been doing it for a while and had, he has a big business, but he was still doing it. Yeah. So it's, in it's a mind. mindset. Yeah, it's in the mind. So tell me something. Do you think, you know, this can be, t it, I'm not saying to a large extent totally eradicated because from our research, um, internet fraud has been on for a very yeah, long time. In long fact, time. there are speculations that a lot of people that made their money then that we look up to, oh, this, that, that, that. A lot of them did drugs, peddling, so they did it for a while, accumulated the money, and stopped and started a legit business. business. Yeah. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Then some did internet, some did fraud, you know, get people, foreigners, and all of those things. How do you think we can eradicate this thing? Do you think, it, first of all, it's possible to, to begin to change this culture, this mindset? That's number one. Then how do you think we can take the baby steps we can take, you know, even as a government? Because I said something yesterday when we were talking about uh, I don't know what we're talking about, but <clears throat> there are some countries that they have put in certain laws. In Dubai, for instance, my mom was supposed to collect money from my in-law, which is he's a foreigner. Because he is a white man, and he was sending money to a black man, they, they, they kept the money on hold. And they said oh. she's a Nigerian. Yes, and because she was a Nigerian. Again. They kept the money on hold. The that is a government. That she's yeah. old a old woman. woman. They didn't care. They kept Just that money. That yeah. Until yeah. my sister, which is the wife of the man, uh, wife of the man, now went to resend the money in her Nigerian name. name. Wow. wow. So they now say, okay, now they know that this money is not fraudulent. Okay. So we've seen things like that. The government also put some checks and balances. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand? So yeah. how do you think we can, first of all, reverse that mindset and okay. also change, you okay. know? Um, we have an agency called National Orientation Agency, NBA. Yeah. <coughs> now. Are they uh, doing anything? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Good well, question. I didn't, say, I didn't say anything. <laughs> so we have Henry. Um, but the Henry is not doing what it's supposed to be doing, actually. Communication is very, very vital. See, the leaders need to start communicating to the followers, either the youth or because we know that like, Nigeria is domina dominantly a youth population of 60%. Yeah. So we need to start communicating to ourselves. We need to start telling ourselves the truth and from the leaders that, see, there is a way you go about money. Money is an idea. So idea was the word. So if you don't have the idea that can that can meet with the money you are aspiring to have, then you have the money, and before you know it, the money is gone. Now, there's another thing called, you know, there was a time in 2015 when this present administration came on board. He said, if you have ever looted Nigeria's treasury, come return the money and you'll be pardoned. Mm -hmm. Okay, something was done in my school while I was in school as an undergraduate at the University of Lagos, and um, the lack of bad moves, PRO, Lagos Police, command, yeah. she came, brought this program called Entertainment, mid security, brought in the man, um, so many artists, Funky Akindele and the rest of them, Kogede Belu. And what are they trying to do with that program? That you can come, there is a correctional facility that will create for you. If you are willing, if you are willing to come out and say, this is what I do, but I don't want to do this anymore, mm -hmm. help me, then they will help you with maybe skills that you can learn. And how successful okay. was that? I will tell you, I, I can't really say if that policy has been implemented by the police command. So I'm just trying to use that as an example, citing that as an example alongside the administration policy of this present administration where they came on border. If I've ever returned Nigeria's treasury, come, return, and give you and a pardon. pardon. So the same thing was done by President, um, former President Goodluck Jonathan for the amnesty, amnesty guys. Yes. So, 
tell these guys that because many of them are tired of what they are doing actually. They really don't want to continue. If you really speak to them, yes, I can tell you categorically that. Some of them don't want to continue anymore. I but, disagree but to agree I, with you yes, on know. that concept. <laughs> because <laughs> I have seen somebody who says, I be Yahoo boy. Okay. It's it's now waiting at the Yeah. So he is very, very passionate about it. What they did to my forefathers, I will do it back to them. Yes, I so agree he with was you. proud of it. I agree so with you. you can't tell me that they actually want to pull out. I if they wanted to pull out, yeah. they would have made the first uh, millions and, and they pulled out. Exactly. Okay, this Starts is, a proper business I, and I agree it. with you as well. Mm -hmm. But I have also spoken to people in this same business. And I've heard from them that see, I really don't want to continue doing this thing. So why are they still into it? Because there is no other alternative. That is wrong. No. Okay, see, now, it still well, comes no, back no, no, to no, the I'm fact not, that to play the they are advocate. not ready yeah. to be consistent, to work hard, <laughs> uh, and I, achieve the goal. Okay, so it, tell us. It stems back okay. to laziness. They are being lazy. Yes, I understand this. See, I, think, I don't <laughs> think it's get about laziness. Point, yeah. I think I, what no one has mentioned is unemployment rates. That's so that was where he was going. So tell us this alternative. This is the alternative. Yes. Let's, like, for instance, the Minister of Information and Culture, Elijah Lai Mohammed, they know that this thing happened in this country. Let them come out and say, okay, let them be proactive, speak out on these same issues. They know. Some of them have um, sons and daughters in this business. Hmm. You'll be amazed to know that it is not. Only for poor man. Poor yes. That's why yes. I say it's not poverty. So that's it's the mind. It's the mind. <laughs> so it's not only for it's not only poor guys that are into this business. Even sons of the rich, the queen and the la queen, are also into the business. You understand? Mm -hmm. So let them come out openly. Let them face it and be realistic that we know this thing happened. We know this thing is going on. Okay, this is how we want to eradicate it because. Not all conflicts will be totally eradicated, but can only be managed. Can it be cursed? Let, yeah. me, let me ask, tell you something. I was at a gathering where I, I met um, a young man who was working in a bank. And he said that, oh, he met a young, another young boy who was um, unemployed. And he asked him, oh, what do you do? And the boy said, okay, I'm jobless. I, I'm looking for work. I said, okay, come and see me and I'll give you um, something to do. And when he got there, he felt that, oh, he's a graduate, so they're going yeah. to give him something big, you know, only for him to get there. And they gave him something as a contract staff. Okay. Now, when he got there, after being given a con the contract for being a contract staff, how much was he being paid? He was being paid 30000 Now That's another reason. Now, he saw it. And he said, ah, Olga, I, I thought uh, I'll be earning more. I'm sorry, I can't take this job. Hmm. So, so it still comes back but, but to the fact in that his defense, you are not in his ready to is very to work. In, No, it, it's not about not ready to work. This, is, that one that uh, said, no. this, this happened. Issue. This happened like five, six years ago. Not, I'm not talking about it. It doesn't in the matter. That money is so too little, and See, that's another reason why people I'm are doing your my own. first job. Well, I was being paid. My first job I was, was 15,000 naira. Thank you. I was being paid 15,000 naira. And it wasn't even coming regularly. And I, was, I was there. And it does have both. No, don't think about that. Was 15, mindset, mindset, mindset things, still comes things to play. Things are more expensive now. And in that 15,000 no. naira, I was actually saving. But I want us to focus on Tijani. Okay. Yes. So tell us, how many people have you spoken with? And what are, I mean, what is their fear, you know? If they say they want to stop Yahoo Yahoo today or they want to stop the internet fraud and all of that, what is their biggest fear? Stigma, one. Okay, stigma, yeah. which is which is very key. In what yeah. context? Th that's number one. Then what is their other fear? Is it that the fear of that they might not have money tomorrow to live a lavish life? Or what exactly, apart from stigma, what do you think the other fear is? Um, another are? fear is um, um, lack of... Sorry, stigma in what context, please? You know, if... if the society, the, the society that we belong to mm. is a kind that um, once you go back to what you've done before or what you've engaged in before, there are some opportunities and um, there are some privileges that may be denied you because they may not have the same mindset that you don't belong don't, to that, that setting trust, again. Yes, that so trust may be gone, yeah. Yeah, you understand. So okay. that is, that's one fear. One so fear. what's the other one? The other fear is opportunities. 
Yeah. Would there be opportunities even if I drop this thing, if yeah. I no longer want to continue in this act or in this business? Would there be other opportunities for me to engage in yeah. that can advance my life? That was what I was talking about, um, the correctional facilities and the alternative being put, um, put, uh, in, place. put in place okay. by the government to say, okay, if you're not doing this anymore, we can put you in, uh, we can put you in school, we can put you to learn skills, okay. we can, so just like they do for the amnesty guys, just like they do, the, like um, the... So you think it is important for them to sit down and face the reality and call this people. Yes. I think <laughs> we were, um, um, uh, what's it called, Faith, you just help us wrap up yes. um, what, I mean, the salient points you picked from yes. us. So essentially, from everything that you said, you're saying that poverty is the reason why um, we have Maybe, people doing yeah. their own, and also um, people are following or emulating what their leaders are doing, yeah. so we need leaders to act right. Yes. And then we also need more correctional facilities yes. to help people transition, people that want to stop transition yeah. from stopping exactly. their wood to now being a proper citizen and you know adding to our economy. Yeah. And also just creating opportunities and for them to you know change their lifestyle. Yes, exactly. Right. I think also for me, one big thing that I've picked from Tijani is um, the social co um, contract. contract contract theory Sorry. and the social trust. Yes, yeah. exactly. we we need we need to have that because yeah. a lot of things still revolves around what these young people are saying with our leaders. Yeah. And this is you know and this is who we place. You know, if you walked in here wearing nothing, maybe just bathroom slippers, people just look down on even Somehow, if you're a billionaire. Yeah. 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 But now because they see that oh you must ride a Mercedes, you must so the, the mindset has to be yes. restructured. Yeah. It has I, to be restructured. I, I, I would yeah. say that I would look at it from the educational point of view mm. because um, um, the youths of today are not not just are the leaders of tomorrow, they are the, the leaders of tomorrow. So hopefully, so concept. <laughs> your so last they word, Johnny. <laughs> they yeah. should be taken um, seriously. seriously. Yeah. Yes. So what's your and final thought? That paradigm shift in how they happen. think should happen. Okay, this is my passing word. You know, you can't give what you don't have. Hmm. So let our leaders become who they want us to become. Okay. okay. Mm. So they should first become who they really want us to become. Hey. But to Tijani. make a change, you have to start <laughs> No, that's why. Let me tell you something. Change begins with you. Yes. You I'm not waiting for any leader. You don't have to <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I understand that point, but yeah. the truth is that at the point where we're at, okay. I think we should start from ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I feel. Well, correct, so remember, you can join the conversation, <laughs> continue conversations on Twitter and um, on all, all our Twitter pages, continue the conversations there. All right, it's been a very insightful conversation. I mean, we had we had a great time today. Absolutely. We're hoping to bring Tijani back. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's, be there's, like there's a lot that we, we could do, but this menace has to be copped. Even if our leaders are not paying attention, they want to pretend like they don't know. We know, and we'll keep bringing it up. All right, so let's take the quote again for today. Success isn't about greatness. It is about consistency. Consistent hard work leads to success. Greatness will eventually come. Yes, that's from Dwayne Johnson. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m. live. We're having our Christmas special. And Sean Kuti will be here as well with us tomorrow. So we'll see you guys. And remember, you can catch all the repeat broadcasts Mondays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 3 p.m. Yay. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Ladies, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye for boss. Bye. Bye.